Butterfly click. Butterfly click. Butterfly click. Butterfly click. Butterfly click. Butterfly click. Butterfly Butterfly. It's no secret that in the Minecraft PvP community, we completely obsess over clicking methods. Whether you're normal clicking, jitter clicking, butterfly clicking, or cactus clicking. We all have our own preferences when it comes to clicking a mouse. And I know I'm going to be the first to say it, but it's pretty understandable why we obsess over clicking methods. Because being good at a clicking method might be the decider between losing or winning that Bed Wars or Sky Wars game. And try clicking alone is literally insane if you want to get into god bridging or Whatever the heck this is. Oh, Baba no, boy. No, no, no. <laughs> also, get this. But it's a proven fact that the higher your CPS is, the less knockback you'll take during PvP. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, you've probably heard or at least tried one of these clicking methods. There's also a good chance that you watching this video have tried the butterfly clicking method. But if you are actively butterfly clicking as of right now, that could be about to change very soon. Literally. If you're unfamiliar why butterfly clicking is always being super hyped up about, to summarize it very quickly, it's a clicking method that relies mostly on double clicking to get an incredibly high CPS that can be a huge advantage in PvP. And here's a few things that you need to know about double clicking. Double clicking is a clicking technique where you're able to click your mouse in a particular way where one click essentially registers as two clicks. Hence why it's called double clicking. Because of double clicking, players who can butterfly click can get up to 25 to 30 clicks per second while PvPing. And some mice can even triple click and quadruple click. Listen, if your mouse quadruple Bruh. clicks, you have an auto clicker. There is, there is no way that you can, oh my god. Also, very quickly, but what is this? We're currently less than 2,000 subscribers away from 100,000. Wow, that was fast. Big thanks to everyone who showed up for the 100k stream, which was by far one of the most insane streams ever. But, but without further ado, let's get into the exciting part of the video. So you're probably wondering, what does anything I've told you as of right now have to do with the end of butterfly clicking? So let's go all the way back to 2016 before Bed Wars even existed. Here's a very quick history lesson on how butterfly clicking came to be. On June the 17th, 2016, a pot PvP YouTuber who goes by the name I am a cottager. Also, to save you some time, please don't search up what cottager means on Google. Um, I'm scarred. From that, uploaded a video called The Butterfly Clicking Conspiracy. This supposedly being one, if not the first video to ever be uploaded about butterfly clicking. The video quite interestingly references how back in 2016, the Minecraft PvP community was very unfamiliar with butterfly clicking. And because of this, many players back in 2016 were skeptical of this clicking method, labeling it as some sort of conspiracy. Obviously, this is very outdated now. But players would often use butterfly clicking as an excuse for getting banned for cheating. And they still do. Because back then, barely any servers knew about butterfly clicking. But if you were butterfly clicking back in 2016, there would be a good chance that you would be banned by the high CPS. Overall, this person made two videos on butterfly clicking before they themselves got banned. Whether this was due to butterfly clicking, I have no idea. However, one of these videos blew up at the time, allowing more players to become familiar with butterfly clicking. Similarly, another YouTuber under the name of Coleman uploaded a video of him playing pop PvP, butterfly clicking with a hand cam. And six months later in 2017, a YouTuber called Ender uploads a video very simply called How to Butterfly Click, which has garnered over 2 million views to this date. Fast forward all the way to 2019 Minecraft, which I like to call the rise of butterfly clicking. During this time, the community began to idolize the idea of having high CPS even more. This meant that players began looking for ways to click faster, and this effectively caused a lot of normal clicking players to switch to jitter clicking or butterfly. Midway through 2019, Minecraft YouTubers began making tutorials showing people how to butterfly click due to the increased demand of there being a tutorial. These YouTubers being Ventus MC. Ricky. Just kidding, I know it's RKY. Hoopy Doop Goo. <laughs> Multied and me. YouTubers helped substantially to introduce the clicking method to a much larger number of players. But even this wasn't quite enough to completely influence the Minecraft community. Until. May the 18th, 2019. The day the glorious Monolo was released. Yep. 
that mouse. The mouse everyone seems to be using. It didn't quite blow up in terms of popularity immediately. But this mouse essentially catapulted the community into butterfly clicking to a new level. One of the main reasons why the model o got so popular so fast is mostly because of the ability to change its debounce time in the software. Debounce being the setting that justifies whether a mouse can double click or not. And as soon as people figured out they could double their CPS, players started freaking out and YouTubers also picked up on this and freaked out as well. Swamp made a video unboxing the model o, which got a million views and Rukaya made a video on it. But long story short, this mouse was pretty much labeled the gaming mouse for butterfly clicking and immediately an incredible number of players bought the model o and its variants to get 20 CPS just like their favorite YouTubers were. Hype around the model o essentially continued throughout 2019 and 2020. The hype has definitely calmed a bit but this mouse is still notoriously known as one of the best mice for Minecraft PvP. Due to the huge influx of players butterfly clicking, a large amount of servers had to adapt to people butterfly clicking so players wouldn't get banned. And now that we're almost at the end of 2021, it feels like everyone has a model O and butterfly clicks. So, now that you know the key parts of the history of butterfly clicking and my perspective on how it came to popularity, let's talk about the problems of butterfly clicking, its existence in the present, and its future as one of the most popular clicking methods. Oh no. Recently, I and a few others have noticed more and more players in the community being concerned or even absolutely livid about the ways butterfly clicking works. It's kind of like people are only just figuring this out. To get more in-depth and further extensive research into some of the reasons to why people were beginning to hate on butterfly clicking, I made a community post asking people who hate butterfly clicking why? This being one of my biggest community posts yet, achieving over 500 Bruh. comments as of now. Taking a dive into the comment section, one of the sole reasons players had towards disliking butterfly clicking was because it strongly relies on double clicking. Remember that double clicking is where one click equals two clicks? This is the fundamental flaw with double clicking. Not to mention that double clicking is the result of a faulty mouse as it isn't necessarily a liked feature outside of Minecraft. Remember how I told you that higher CPS equals less Less not back. It's understandable why a minority of players disagree with butterfly clicking, because it is quite literally reducing your not back by giving you a considerably higher CPS, because you have the ability to double your clicks. But this wouldn't be as big of a problem if every gaming mouse could double click. But as a lot of you might know from experience, I know this as well, but not every mouse is built the same. Others said that butterfly clicking makes PvP way too simple and easy. Some say that butterfly clicking is mouse abuse, and I am definitely no stranger to that at all. There were some people who disagreed and said that double clicking doesn't really serve as big of an advantage in actual PvP scenarios and is most useful for bridging. So what about the future of butterfly clicking? Well, I believe there are three potential possible timelines that could potentially occur over the forthcoming months and years in the PvP community. Potential future one. Nothing is going to change. And I feel like this might be one of the more likely outcomes. Essentially, things are going to stay the same and no action will take place to prevent butterfly clicking or more specifically double clicking, at least on Hypixel. There could also be a very small chance that debounce settings will come to more gaming mice than just a very few, meaning that double clicking will be more accessible for a larger number of players in the Minecraft community. Ah yes, very bobbers. I hate myself for saying that. Potential future two. In this alternative universe, servers such as Hypixel might urge or flat out ban, not specifically using a mouse like the Model O, but more specifically using a low debounce setting. I feel like this scenario is very far stretched, and if not incredibly unlikely to take place, since it would make a lot less sense for Hypixel to ban something that has already become so generalized in the Minecraft PvP community. Essentially, if Hypixel was going to ban butterfly clicking or double clicking, they probably would have done it a lot Bruh. sooner. Other servers, yeah, man. <laughs> I, I don't know. Potential future free. It might become frowned upon to even be able to double click. Oh, you own a Model D. Oh. Deny. Model D? More like Model V is nuts. Ha! My neighbors just called and they told us to keep the noise down. If more players feel like double clicking gives butterfly clickers an advantage in PvP, then it might become something that's discouraged in the PvP community. Some servers might ban double clicking in this scenario, but probably not every server. This entire idea has been on my mind for quite a while now, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Subscribe. Do it.